make it run. It's fun, you know, pulling you along. <laughs> oh. and so it's okay till your grandmother calls you. <laughs> and then you learn not to do that anymore. She was bad. Not bad, but she was very young. You know, and these people work hard. I mean, they, I mean, they just didn't stop, you know, for them. They just keep working. And what I couldn't understand is why they hoed corn. They hoed corn all the time. And as far as you can see, corn, 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 corn. And hoe it all the time. Man, I said the grass grow. I mean, you know, silly to hoe. Didn't make that much more kernel than the corn. And wheat. Shock and wheat. Huh. I don't know anything about that. But that wheat. was for the cattle? No, that no, that's was for, for uh, bread. That was for you to uh, take to the flour oh. mill and have it ground into flour. Mm. And then you'd, you'd uh, at the bartering system, you'd get so much wheat for so many potatoes or whatever, and back and forth. And you used to have threshers that would come in and it gather up all the wheat, but it's time you, you cut it first of all, put it in shocks, go in shocking, shocking the corn, the wheat. Then you got to gather it in on the wagons or whatever it is and bring them in, and the thrasher would be the thrashing machine. One man had a thrashing machine, and he'd go around to all the neighboring farm, and then that was a time when everybody took off, and they would go to this farm, this farm, this farm, until everybody, until everybody got their wheat thrashed. Uh, then you put it in bales. This is a livelihood. You bale the hay, wheat straw, and then you then you separate the. Uh, again, you get the separation thing here, and then the wheat would go into a certain area, and they take and put it in this huge bin, as big as this mm -hmm. room. And uh, then you have the chaff, which would be off to the side. And that's what you'd go play in. We, we didn't have that, but we played in the knees. Well, once break the knees and play in them. <laughs> well, once once you get to a certain point, and this no, and you know that you you made it when they let you do this, they take the bales of uh, uh, wheat straw mm -hmm. and have a horse with the pulley. You lead the horse out and pull the bale up, and be a guy up there taking it and pull it back into the barn wall mm -hmm. and stack it, and that be the where you fix the. Uh, Cow stalls, or horse stalls, it had quite a few horses in it. Now the hay was from what? It's from, from the wheat. Oh, from the wheat. Yeah. You take it and you throw, it, throw the shocks down in order to, you know, the cheese. Throw, it, throw them down into, into the threshing machine and it would separate everything. It would bale up the straw with a rope, you know, not, heavy, not rope, but heavy, heavy twine, binder twine they call it. Mm. And, uh, and take that and put it in the barn wall. Wheat go this way, chaff that way. Everybody had a job. And then the fun part was when they knock off the lunch. Yeah. And all the women, mm -hmm. the men would be working on the threshers. And the women get getting cooked. And normally it'd be fried chicken. Yeah. And, uh, you gotta feed those heavy workers. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then they had one man named, his name was Hub Hefner. He was uh, very small in stature, but everybody loved to watch him eat. He'd take a drumstick and take it and put it in his mouth, the big oh, end, <laughs> put it in his mouth, oh, and pull it out, and he'd just strip it. <laughs> that was it. <laughs> Gone. I bet he could do a lot of work. <laughs> Sunday school, there's only one person in there that has lived on a farm or knows Teddy Calder. He's the only one that knows what I'm talking about. Mm -hmm. I'm talking about things like that, and they don't know what, you know, what you're talking about. And and I I lead them to believe that I grew up on a farm. I 
Yeah, right. 